and, and Simon himself, he's such a, he's so relentless, he's such a bullet that he's just gonna find things quicker. So it helps with the pace, it helps with the audience. They're just as interested in, in the mystery as he is. Uh, I think for me, one of my favorite things was that she was artsy and she was also in her own way, like a little outspoken, especially when it came to her friends mm -hmm. um, and her braveness in the whole um, journey. Yeah. Of, of trying to figure out what happened to Maddie. I thought that was really yeah. cool. There are definitely a lot of secrets that Claire is withholding from from everyone around her. I think she seems like a suspect because she seems like she has a motive for Claire, um, for Maddie. Um, but yeah, no, definitely a lot of secrets. Definitely not who you expect her to be. Yeah, I mean, I feel like his ears are burning from beyond the grave. Everyone's kind of, they got, everyone seems to have a, a two cents about Xavier. Mm -hmm. and, uh, I'm not sure how I feel about that. You know, a lot of these ghosts, you know. <laughs> right away, you're just let, like. Let me at him. Yeah. You know? um, first of all, I was super grateful to be from the 80s, which was such a cool era with amazing music, and amazing movies. I was only listening to 80s music when I was up in Vancouver shooting this. But first of all, I don't think it's been done before necessarily where it's people from different time periods living at the same age in the afterlife. Like, I don't, I don't think that concept has ever been explored, but I think it's really cool because A, obviously you see the differences between all, all these different people and they're, they contrast very strongly. Every situation he's in, he's never, he's out of breath all the time. It's, it's so extreme, um, but, yeah, I I, I I like it because again it's a, it's a very daring plot.